What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. We have your WWE WrestleMania 38 Night 1 review and results for you guys. As you guys know, we're going to run through the entire WrestleMania 38 Night 1 card and break down all of the action that took place tonight, giving you guys my full thoughts and opinions on all the action we saw, where I think we go from here, what I personally thought of it. Was it garbage? Was it amazing? Was it somewhere in between? We're going to dive into it, let you guys know exactly what took place. Wasn't that hyped for this WrestleMania going in, man, so we'll have to see what it tastes. I went in with zero X expectations how would it progress how would it end up unfolding we will find out here tonight man let's dive into night one of wrestlemania 38 and see what happened so night one kicks off with our smackdown tag team championship match the usos taking on shinsuke nakamura and rick boogs now i'm not a rick boogs guy man i'm really not you know i just don't see anything in him right there he's pretty charismatic here and there but just not one of those guys that i get behind here i expected actually a lot out of this matchup man like i expected you know the usos are always delivering everything they do is pretty damn great. They're one of the best tag teams in the world here, but I just wasn't feeling this match. I felt like it was missing a gear. I felt like it didn't last very long. I didn't know if Rick Boogs actually got hurt. It seemed like he actually did hurt his knee or something because he was like on the outside with a bunch of people and stuff like that. I don't know if they had to cut it short or something, but that's what it felt like. It felt very rushed. It felt like they were trying to cut this time out just right here, but I did not like this opener. I didn't think it was a good opener for WrestleMania. It didn't get me out of my seat. It didn't get me excited about the rest of the night. It was just one of those... It started and then it ended. It did not feel WrestleMania level coming in. It didn't live up to that anyway. It was it was just very short and very blah. Didn't, you know, it was what it was. The best part of this thing was the gear, the Bloodline gear for the Usos and the Mike's Hard Lemonade-esque gear of Shinsuke Nakamura with like the Caution logos and the orange and yellow. That'd be a kind of a cool figure, I guess. But I'd be fine with figures of any of these guys coming out of this matchup. I thought the gear was good, but the match was not very good, Brad. I, I didn't really enjoy it that much, but the Usos do retain. That's what I figured would happen, but here they are retaining their championships at WrestleMania. Next up, guys, we had Drew McIntyre taking on Trash Corbin in a matchup I did not care about going in, but by the end of it, I was pretty hooked on it, man. Drew McIntyre is just so good. I love Drew McIntyre, Trash Corbin. You know, I liked his get-up for tonight. If he, if we were to get that in figure form, I wouldn't mind it. It was actually pretty cool, but this is a pretty fun story. Drew McIntyre actually kicks out of the end of days. Apparently, that was the first time that's ever happened. I don't remember that being the first time that's ever happened, but that's still pretty cool for Drew McIntyre to do so. I mean, it kind of feels like a waste. I know it's at WrestleMania and everything like that, but to come in that moment right there, a specific instance, I don't know. At the same time, it was cool. I did enjoy the matchup. Drew McIntyre wins with the Claymore. I don't ever want to see these guys wrestle ever again, even though I did enjoy this matchup for what it was. Not a WrestleMania level match, I don't think, but still a fun one. And Drew McIntyre gets the win over Trash Corbin. I, again, I do not want to see these guys wrestle ever again. I don't, I'm, I'm over it. Just give me something else. Next up, guys, we had The Miz and Logan Paul taking on the Mustang. Mysterios. Another match I wasn't emotionally invested in, right? Like, I did not care about the outcome, but it was a fun match. I expected Logan Paul to come out and be pretty athletically impressive, and he was, man. I thought he was pretty impressive here tonight. I thought he did really, really well. I don't know if he did as good as Bad Bunny. It was very close, though. Very entertaining match throughout. The Miz and Logan Paul pick up the win, and then the Miz hits Logan Paul with a skull-crushing finale, turning on him. Logan Paul kind of, like, no-sold it a little bit. Like, he got up moments later. It wasn't like, you know, he sold it all the way through, but damn. Pretty fun matchup. I thought the gears throughout were pretty cool. I'd love to get some figures out of these. You know, The Miz finally wore something a little bit different than he usually does. I think it'd be cool to see a Logan Paul Elite figure. Dominic and Ray looked pretty cool as well. Very fun matchup. I thought it was a fun matchup. Crowd was into it. Everybody was flying around. The funniest and best part of this whole thing was when Miz turned on Logan Paul, and Logan Paul literally is like smiling, celebrating because they did pick up the win, but he's sitting there smiling, and then The Miz puts the skull-crushing finale hold on him, and he's still smiling, and he's still smiling. He goes through the most of it and he's literally smiling all the way to the ground and I thought that was so funny to, to watch it back on video. I gotta see a gif of that. That was hilarious. I want that in my bank of memories forever. It was hilarious to see that. So that was my favorite part of the whole thing. But it was thoroughly entertaining. I enjoyed it. Don't really care for Logan Paul that much. He has grown on me a ton over the years. Used to just be on the complete opposite side. But this was fun. I thought it was pretty cool. Miz and Logan Paul pick up the win and Miz is up to his own Healy ways. Pretty good stuff. Next up was our Raw Women's Championship match. Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch going head to head. Very fun match, man. Right off the cuff. Very fun match. This is one of the matches I was most looking forward to. It delivered on every single aspect. I thought the start was really creative. Kind of referring back to the SummerSlam matchup, you know, telling that story. Really great back and forth the whole way. Really athletic. Just a fun match. I, I think it delivered. They had time. They got to do all their stuff. Very fun stuff. They had some cool entrances on both sides. I thought Bianca had a cool gear. I thought Becky looked solid. It was fun. I didn't really care for the face makeup. 
but you know, that is, I feel like that's kind of been the trend here lately at WrestleMania with the women's matches. But it was a fun one. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, Bianca Belair looked like a star. Becky Lynch looked like a star. Gave these women time. And Bianca Belair is your new Raw Women's Champion. I figured that's how it would go, but they did a really good job telling the story here back and forth. Bianca Belair gets her revenge at WrestleMania over Becky Lynch, getting the championship there. Great story throughout. I enjoyed it a whole lot. If you guys didn't check this one out, I highly recommend you go back and check it out. To this point, definitely my favorite match on the card so far tonight. So if you go back and watch any of the matches so far, this is the one to watch up to this point. But Bianca Belair is your new Raw Women's Champion. I'm with it. I think it's great, and it was a good matchup. Next up, guys, we had Seth Rollins versus his mystery opponent handpicked by Vince McMahon. Coming in, there were a lot of things about it, man, right? Like, right, we, we didn't know who the hell it could be. Lots of rumors, lots of things going around on who it could possibly be. And you guys already knew it was Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon came out and battled right with Seth Rollins. I'm just kidding. It was freaking Cody. Cody Rhodes has returned to WWE. We all thought it would happen. We all were on the edge of our seats thinking and pleading that it would happen. Would it happen? Would it happen? And my God, did it happen. Cody Rhodes returns to WWE after his six-year hiatus, which is kind of weird, bro. That, happened, that feels like it was yesterday. WrestleMania 32 in the same building. Six years later, that feels like an eternity ago. And here he was returning, man. He looked awesome. It was freaking sick. I recorded my reaction just to see, you know, exactly what would take place. You guys will see that. But man... How awesome was that, man? That was a great match. This match was terrific. You guys could see that they gave them their time. They let these guys go out and tell their story. Lots of great moments in this matchup. I had a ton of fun with it, man. If you guys are an AEW fan or you guys just love Cody or, or whatever, man, if you guys want to go back and watch any match on this card, this is the one to watch. It was insane. It lived up to the hype. I thought it was a fantastic banger. I thought it was a great match. A little sloppy here and there. It wasn't perfection or anything, but it was damn good. I will definitely give it that, but super exciting, man. This is what WrestleMania is all about. I applaud WWE. I applaud Cody. I applaud Seth. It was very wonderfully done. Great entrance. Great everything. I cannot wait to see what our WWE Elite is going to look like. It should look great. We already have a formula and stuff. Of course, we do have our AEW and Rivaled figures. About to go buy them all out, even though I do have a lot of Cody's. Got to get the rest of them. Got to buy up, you know, as many as I possibly can, but holy shish, bro. This was crazy. What a, what a great moment. Just the all-time WrestleMania moment, man. Just awesome stuff. Great match. I, I mean, like, he, tons of great kickouts and near falls. You just got to go back and watch it. I can't do it justice, man. There was just a lot of stuff going on here. It was very fun and terrific, and I just love this. I'm going to shut the hell up and move on, but damn. Epicness. This made me pop. This was the best part of the night. Next up was our SmackDown Women's Championship match. Charlotte Flair defending against Rowdy Ronda Rousey. I was looking forward to this one because, you know, I love Ronda, so I, I was looking forward to it in that aspect, but the build of this match was absolute dog garbage, man. It was not good. Very robotic. Very just nonchalant. Didn't like it whatsoever. However, this matchup was fun. It was a fun one. A little bit sloppy here and there, but we had some good selling. Some cool moments here and there. I thought the ladies beat the hell out of each other. Nice submission holds. This is what I always love about Ronda matches is her ability to maneuver and roll around. You can really see that wrestling and jujitsu background coming through right there, so that was really cool. But it was, it was a fight. It was a nice fight. I thought that little Nate sold the hell out of that spear when he got speared. Good God, he got his soul speared out of his body. And then Ronda Rousey sold the hell out of that big boot at the end. We had multiple shenanigans, multiple false finishes there with, you know, the one, two, three count, but Charlotte's foot was on the rope. She tapped out to the arm bar, but eventually did win the matchup. So I'm sure that we are definitely going to get a rematch between these ladies, but it was a fun matchup. I had a lot of fun with it. I thought that, you know, Ronda's gear was pretty sweet. I'd like to see that in an Ultimate Edition or something like that. We do, we do need a new Ultimate Edition Ronda because I'd buy a lot more than just one of them that I have here. However, man, it was a really fun matchup. I had a ton of fun with it. I don't know if it was as good as Bianca and, and Becky, but it was still really fun and a, a solid one. But Charlotte Flair does retain after all the shenanigans. Again, I don't think this is the end, but she does retain the championship in a solid football game. And for our main event, unfortunately the New Day match was cut due to time constraints, I guess. But, you know, they, they ran like a million video packages 
packages on tonight and you would think that they would have accounted for that you know going into this thing trying to give those guys a little bit of time there they could have easily put this on a two-hour pre-show but anyways man their matchup did get cut we'll see if they put it on night two but stone cold steve austin as the guest on the ko show this was a ton of fun man you guys know where i stand with kevin owens one of my favorite wrestlers in the world and stone cold steve austin's one of my all-time goats so this was very fun for me coming in i was super excited for the matchup but anyways ko comes down he's got his ko show set up out comes stone cold he cuts him off you know he's talking shish about texas they go back and forth a little bit but kevin owens ultimately challenges stone cold steve austin to a no holds barred match right here right now at wrestlemania stone cold steve austin ends up accepting the offer he comes out in his classic get up he he looked incredible i mean i know the man's been lifting for for 20 years straight right like he's he hasn't he hasn't wrestled a match in 20 years but he still has been physically active in 20 years he lifts every week he he does cardio he's constantly you know on the ranch and stuff like that so he looked like a million bucks he comes out there and we're going we're we actually have a match now we are off and running and what a match we had man these guys were beating the hell out of each other all over the arena brawling stone cold was popping beers and then popping off on kevin owens he took flat back bumps on the stage he took flat back bump on the concrete they fought in the crowd had a table bump for ko they both looked amazing this was a very fun matchup now i said it multiple times leading up to this i hate how this story was formed you know like i didn't want stone cold steve austin to come out of retirement just because kevin owens talks shish about texas makes no sense it's absolutely stupid but this was really fun and awesome. Just a great experience to see this. Kevin Owens got to stunner Stone Cold. He got to, he got to, you know, beat on Stone Cold Steve Austin. I mean, this was so fun. It was just a fun wrestling magical moment, I think. And I think at the end of the day, while it was super fun, I still would have liked to have never happened just so Stone Cold could say he literally never had another match after the Rock match. But if he were to come out, this was a perfect way to do so. And honestly, their chemistry was so good and it was so believable. And they're both so damn good at what they do. I honestly want to see it one-on-one -on -one match now like after everything is said and done man like i want to see these guys have a full-fledged program a one-on-one -on -one singles match like i want to see it now i doubt we get it but damn it was super impressive very fun overall stone cold steve austin does win over kevin owens and kevin owens got to main event wrestlemania so there you go how freaking sick is that this was super fun man absolute just just a great if you grew up on stone cold steve austin man this was just perfect nonetheless man he does defeat kevin owens and i was here for it all day long i was here for it all day long but night one overall of wrestlemania 38 was damn good man like it was pretty damn good like of course there was a lot of matches i didn't care about but at the end of the day, the wrestling was really good. The wrestling was really good. I mean, the opener was probably the worst part just because of the injury to Rick Boogs. Hopefully, he has a very speedy recovery. I heard it was his patella, but all the wrestling was damn good. It was very enjoyable, very engaging. I'm excited for night two now. I think this night one script really flipped on me, and now I'm excited to see night two a lot more than I was for night one. And night one slapped, so that was pretty cool. Not perfect, but it definitely was better than I was expecting in my brain. I had a lot of fun watching it. It just, you know, sometimes we put a lot into the tank about wrestling and we think about it and we're like, ah, oh, it's not that good. And then, you know, all it takes is some good matches here and there to remind you how much you love pro wrestling. So there you go, man. But night one was pretty fun, man. I can't wait for night two's. Come back for night two's review as we will be here on the channel, man. But I'm getting out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts of night one down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like, I, I don't know, who crossed the line tonight? Who, I, uh, I guess Trash Corbin for having a spot on Mania, maybe? Yeah, that's messed up. You crossed the line, I've been